The scrapping of one of Australia's biggest public housing projects earlier this year has been labelled a mistake. The $800 million Logan Renewal Initiative would have transferred public housing stock to not-for-profit organisations. But the state government's decision to dump it still angers some of those it was intended to help. <laughs> the finishing touches to a new house, done by a worker also building a new life. Everyday life is, is very good. Yeah, everybody helps each other. The Burmese refugee loves his new country, but language was a barrier to the security his family needed. Looking two or three years, looking can't find a job. A lot of businesses look at a resume and look at the skills and, and their experience. We don't so much look at that. AES provides intensive support for those finding it difficult to get into mainstream workplaces. You look at Chin here, who, who's working on this site today. He, um, he now sends his kids to a private school. He bought his own first home. He's contributing to his community. This month, the Queensland government set up a new partnership with the social enterprise, part of a plan to spend about $50 million on 70 new public housing homes and upgrades in Logan. But it hasn't been enough to silence critics who say those commitments have replaced a much more ambitious scheme. It was definitely a groundbreaking project um, in its scale and I think also in terms of being a mixed tenure housing renewal. Dubbed the Logan Renewal Initiative, the previous government's 20-year plan was to build 2,600 social and affordable houses to replace and augment the city's ageing public housing stock. The $800 million program would have seen public housing managed by not-for-profit organisations who would also have built and sold dwellings and provided wraparound counselling and job services. The uh, decision to not go ahead with the uh, housing plan will have a big impact on Logan. The Logan City First Nation People's Coalition says there's been little consultation and lots of confusion. No one came back to tell us how it was going to change. Jesse Scott, a public housing resident, was rolling out information on the project to other tenants when it was canned in July. My feeling was like I was kicked in the guts and we just felt like we weren't even told. Um, it was totally disrespected. She's been part of numerous community development projects and says the Logan Renewal Initiative's two-decade time frame was a welcome change from short funding cycles. Tenants have got such an amazing um, background of skills and they know people and, you know, we, we look at people and think, you know, they're just nothing. Having once described the program as historic, the State Housing Minister now says it was too risky and a form of privatisation. That relied on perfect market conditions. It also relied on a continuation of uh, federal government subsidies. It relied uh, heavily on uh, the um, handing over of uh, uh, state title. But ultimately, we believe in the responsibility of government to deliver those services. The government says details of a new 10-year housing plan may be released within months. Elizabeth's ABC News, Logan.